Cheers, Sarah. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Brian. Love your mug. Thank you. Love your apron, yeah. too. We are like Look at that. in style GP today. Logo. Classic. Classic I logo. I love your ink drop. Oh, yeah. This, this brings us back a little bit. It does, yeah. yeah. Um, so this is Sarah. Sarah's our lead photographer here Hi. at Gilly Pens. She's normally behind the camera, but today she's in front of the camera. Yeah. Um, got prompted last week with a good question from Q&A about how do we make our ink splatters. And I like tried to kind of cover it, but I was like, why not bring the master on here? I did it a about... lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, we brought some tools. We figured, you know, this is kind of a precautionary measure, more for dramatic effect. Mm -hmm. We're not actually gonna be like ink fighting yeah, with no. each other. <laughs> Though I don't know, that could be fun, yeah. right? Like, yeah, <laughs> cake versus pie, but with ink, yeah. <laughs> yes, um, no, we won't do that. But um, just wanted to explain and show people how you make these amazing splatters. So um, just for context, you know, we sell fountain pen ink. Not sure if you're aware of that. Um, 700 different colors or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, when you're photographing just the regular bottle, that gets difficult mm -hmm. to show what makes one ink different from another. So really the splatter is like one way to show some of the unique properties of the ink, right? Definitely. So let's talk a little bit about like what's, what's the process here? Yeah, so <clears throat> we like to do splatters um, whenever we can just because it does show a lot of the unique properties of the ink. So um, like he was saying, we, we do this swab, but to just put a bunch of ink down, it kind of pools up. You get some shading um, in there too. Um, yeah, I can hold them over. For Andy. There you go. Ta -da. I brought a bunch of examples, um, oh, yeah. but it's mm -hmm. especially dramatic when there's a lot of shading or sheening or sparkling mm -hmm. properties. Um, so we try to put these on the product pages just to help you out. Even though you're probably oh, not going to cool. be splattering it all the time, it is cool because I think a lot of thought goes into what goes into these inks as far as like who's mm -hmm. making them. So this is a good way to show that off. Ooh, look at that one. That one. That yeah. Little shimmer. Little Organic shimmery. Studio has really pretty splatters. Do you have any favorites? Like any favorite splatters you've done? Ooh. Um, not that I've brought, but I do like to splatter the Orochizuku inks just because I think they have a lot of sheening properties and shading. Oh, yeah. And just their colors are really rich and jewel toned. Mm-hmm. Um, Hold on. Yeah. Okay. That was a nice one. Olivine. Ooh, there you go. More organic studio. Organics. Organic studio takes a long time to dry, as I'm sure a lot of <laughs> a lot of fountain users know that. Yeah. Oh, classic. <laughs> Definitely use this splatter quite a bit. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's that really interesting how you just splattered it and it turned into a flamingo. That was really, <laughs> really amazing. Yeah. Coincidence yeah, it just there. Transformed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's more of the raw, the raw splatter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. and you can see here we did this the swab and um, the writing sample to just show everything it yeah. can do. This is actually really good because it shows kind of like more when it's in a pen, mm -hmm. what it may do. And then, cause some people I think see the splatter and they're like, why doesn't it look like that right. out of my pen? It's like, well, it would if it like didn't have a nib on it and you were just dumping ink onto the yeah. page. Then you go through your ink really <laughs> fast and you probably want to make it last. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> All right. So I know we brought some ink, brought yeah. some paper. So I figured we'd actually do a demonstration of like yes. how you create these awesome splatters. Let's do it. Yeah. So we have Tomoe uh -huh. and Rhodia. Um, we like to do them on Rhodia just because um, it's a pretty neutral paper. Like it's not super slick, um, but it's not super absorbent yeah, either. It's, and like it's like a, a good, good like standard for yeah. fountain pen friendly paper. Yeah, like we do a lot of our ink reviews on it. Um, it's just mm -hmm. a good paper. And then Tomoe, which is also great. This one is a little more slick, so yeah. um, you this get- This one like really draws yeah. out the drama. Yeah, so if you want to like get a lot of sheen or um, shimmer, this uh -huh. Tomoe is a good one to use for that. Very cool. And then you got right. some basic tools here. See, we have a lot of syringes. A lot of syringes. Which we look like a, you know, halfway house or something here, oh but God. it's, uh, <laughs> sorry if that's inappropriate, but uh, <clears throat> I have had more than a few people comment like, why do you have syringes all over the place? Like, it's for ink, I promise. The oh yeah, blunt I know, needles, it's okay. I know. But anyway, um, and then you have these, uh, what are these? The disposable pipettes. pipettes. Yeah, yeah, and I don't like to use the pipettes that often, but you can use them if you want to make a little bit less of a mess. So we can show both because... Oh, well, why do we want to do that? Let's I mean, make a mess. I don't, yeah, we are wearing <laughs> aprons, so... I would imagine this is good for like when you want to pull up the ink. Yeah. Not so much for like 
Exactly. Squirting. Yeah. If you just want like one droplet yeah. and you just want to drop it in the middle of the page, that's what it's good for. Cool. All right. So we got some some classics here: Emerald of Shavor, mm -hmm. Nitrogen, Organic Studio, uh, Rouge Hematite. I think that's Rouge Hematite, right? I think right? it's Karoo oh. de Chypre. Karoo de <laughs> And then California Teal and Con Pecky. So um, yeah, we can just uh, you can teach me how how you do your technique. How about that? Okay. Do um, Emerald of Shavor. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So first, since Classic. Emerald of Shabor is pretty shimmery, you're going to want to um, shake it so there's oh, yeah. not all these particles at the bottom. Okay. So just get that ready. Um, I'll do the Karub. Similar concept. Yeah, you can see there. The yeah. Mm, so you got to shake it. Pretty good. Cool. You don't have to shake it like you're angry at it. You just no, you can just kind of, yeah. I'm just trying to get movement. You don't want like, you don't need to, a like, ton of bubbles. Like, yeah. yeah. Excuse me. Yep. Exactly. Okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna copycat you here as we're going. Okay. Yeah, she's your weapon of choice. Weapon of choice, indeed. Syringe. Okay. And how much do you need to get into the syringe? Oh, not a lot. So yeah, that's a good question. So you really just want to drop a couple drops. Like when you see these oh, huge splatters, okay. it's not like you're dumping the whole bottle on the page or anything. You just want to drop a few drops oh, to wow, start so. with, because um, you would much rather have to add to it than have a huge mess of it's harder ink. harder to take it away. Yeah, and you don't want to use up like all your ink either. Um, Fair enough. Okay, and so once you have a few drops in, just mm -hmm. drop a little bit more air just so you have some okay. power to it. Oh yeah. All right. Do I have enough in there? That doesn't seem like much. Maybe I not? Think mm -hmm. No? We can start with that. Okay, this literally is like a couple drops. Yeah, okay. and, and I think the more air you drop, the more forceful it is gonna more, like, come out. You yeah, do. so, all right, you just go for it. All right, you go ahead. I'm gonna watch you. Yeah, okay, cool. So you get kind of a, a little bit of a. Oh yeah, that's like an like airbrush type small, of thing. Yeah, and then you can add more to it. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and then you see, like I got like maybe three, and I might just add a little bit more. Can you like push it? You can, like yeah. Just with air? Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, so that was a lot. Yeah, let's just go ham on this thing. And then. Whoa! Yeah. Getting it everywhere. So then, I know, so then you have all these it's little. It's all over things. the desk. Yep. That's cool. So make sure you don't, you know, move your coffee. Make sure you don't value your belongings. Yeah, nothing important. Be okay. Um, and then once you kind of have a pool, you could leave it and just let it okay. dry as is. But I kind of like to just pick it up and just blow on it. And that way you can really control the shape of it. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like. I feel like we're at an arts and crafts, like, project class or something. Arts and I crafts know. and Sarah and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I that literally is kind of what we're doing. It, yes. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like to, to just go in one direction, but you can like mm -hmm. get crazy with it and just no, go. I'm, get, I'm getting a little bit of buckling on the page. Yeah. You know, which is probably not unusual, especially because this isn't like watercolor paper. This isn't really right. thick stuff. Mm hmm. And you will get some buckling on Rhodia, and mm -hmm. and you'll get a lot more buckling on Tomoe, um, just because it's so thin. Um, it wants to like run away. Oh ah. uh, yeah. Well, there it goes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm just ready to like dump it all over the desk. Okay. Cool. Um, All right, so we'll like just set this aside. Yeah, you just let it um, be okay if dry. I usually like to let it dry for an hour before I photograph it, just because oh, that wow. gives it realize. time. Oh wow! So it took that long. yeah, usually I just um, I'll do it right before lunch, and then when I come back in an hour, it's usually done. I'm trying not to like fling this thing all over Andy. Yeah, just be okay. careful. Cool. Yeah. All right, so we'll set that aside. <laughs> yeah, because we put down like a pretty decent amount of ink there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I definitely want to try nitrogen. Or you can try nitrogen. No, no, I want you, nitrogen to be tried. You, you can do nitrogen. I'm going to go for okay. Compecky. You can see this bottle has gotten a lot of use. Yeah, just use this that. is our team bottle. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to shake this one a little bit. Well, this is, you can definitely tell this is a new syringe. It's, it's a little like stiff. so, no, it's so smooth. I feel like, oh. yeah. <laughs> You know, you can grease it up a little bit. You can put a little silicone grease around the oh, seal. Really? Yeah, it'll smooth I it up no a little idea. bit. Yeah, little little uh, pro tip there for you. I actually should do that because <laughs> I do these all yeah, the time. Yeah, because you do them enough. For yeah, sure. I really need to do okay. that. Okay, all right, I'm gonna try nitrogen. Let's do it one at a time. Okay. One at a time. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Ready? Wait, nope. 
Yes. Now go. Okay. Ready? Whoa. Oh, that was intense. Oh, I sprayed it everywhere. Yep. Oh, it's all over everything. I got it on your paper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Whoops. That's okay. Okay. I want to really. We're just gonna have a guy. blue collage because you know you have. I see nothing wrong with this. Blue. Yeah. This is how the aprons got the way that they are. Yes, indeed. Okay. Cool. Right, your turn, Sarah. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna do a really big splatter just to show that you can kind of. I don't know if you want to fill up a page. Um, make it more artsy, I guess. Um, I usually like to just make one big splatter, at least towards the middle, and then I can like play with making it bigger once there's some on there. So these little dark spots, this is where the sheen is really gonna happen. Um, but I don't like to make it all pulled up because where it's in these like thinner spots, that's where you'll get to see the shading a lot, and that's mm -hmm. really important too. Otherwise, it might just turn totally red from all this sheen. Yeah, and then and it doesn't look as dramatic because it's yeah. all just one uniform color. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look Kentucky at that. is so pretty. That is really pretty. So see, then... I kind of want the splatter effect, though. See, that's different. You're yeah. blowing on it. That mm -hmm. has more of kind of like a... I don't know how to describe it's it. Reaching a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's like yeah. reaching out. And this one's more like an explosion. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and it really depends on the ink. Like, I think this one will mm -hmm. really look cool with the nitrogen. And this one, mm -hmm. for Compeki, I mean, I think it's going to show a lot of that vibrancy in there. That's um, cool. And if I was using this for a picture, I would probably do the writing right here. And I would do the writing after I yeah, do the splatter. Yeah, so you just like, like a glass pen or something mm -hmm. like this, right? And then you could just kind of like write over it, you know, if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll do a few lines on another sheet of paper first to just kind of get some ink off. Um, Something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing Perfect. too crazy. But you're going to have fun with it, especially yeah. if you do any photography. I know we got to wrap up, Andy, but um, just real quick, since you do photograph these, just talking a little bit about like the camera setup, lighting, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Just like how do you best photograph these once you've physically made this, the samples? Yeah, so... To best photograph them, um, you definitely want to have good lighting. That's like number one, I think, in any type of just situation. Just in like photography in just general. Just in photography in general. Yeah. I mean, photography is light, so the better the light, the better. Um, the Makes better. sense. How many more times can what I is, say better? What is good light, though? <laughs> is it like natural light, or is it better to have like a like a lamps or something? Natural light for sure. So if you have a big window with some overcast light, or if mm -hmm. it's like north facing and it's not direct light, but it's pretty bright, that would be ideal. Um, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what we use here when we shoot. Mm -hmm. So you would want to just um, have great natural lighting. I like to have the light source behind the paper. So if like you are me, and then it's like this is the window. And just that way the light is coming in and it kind of creates um, like a direct sheen, like you'll see the sheen better oh, that way. Oh, I got way. you, because the light's kind of reflecting from the window it, yeah. into the camera. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that'll give you the good sheen, um, mm -hmm. and you'll want to be slightly at a lower vantage point, just because um, if you're like directly overhead of the picture, um, of the paper, it's not going to capture the sheen as much. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a light behind you, you'll be mm -hmm. like casting a shadow. Yeah, on exactly. It. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Do you need like any special cameras or could you just like use your phone? You could do you it have? on your phone. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we, we use DSLRs, but like there's been times when I've been working on splatters and I'll just use my phone and pan over it and it's great. Cool. Well, awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming on, Sarah. Thanks for having Talking me. Talking us through this. Hopefully you all can try some of this out. Enjoy it for yourselves. You know, um, it doesn't use super complex tools. You no, may have ink around. Yeah, yeah just you can just mess around and have fun. And, and uh, if you do post, you know, just tag us on social at Gooley Pens. Uh, we'd love to see some of the spliders that you get to do. Yes. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video. Um, you can check out some of these inks that we have on GooleyPens.com. Uh, thanks for being on, Sarah. Yeah, thanks it's for having me. It's great to have me. you on here for the first time. And yeah. uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Right on.